others who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, has always been at the forefront of scientific research that aims to deepen our understanding of the universe. It is home to the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, which has been instrumental in numerous groundbreaking discoveries. CERN is a laboratory unlike any other. Situated on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland, CERN is renowned for its groundbreaking research on particle physics. It boasts a vast network of scientists, engineers, and technicians from all around the world who are dedicated to exploring the mysteries of the universe. With its state-of-the-art technology, cutting-edge equipment, and unparalleled resources, CERN stands out as one of the most advanced and innovative scientific institutions in the world. However, in recent months, there have been whispers of something strange happening at CERN. Rumors of bizarre experiments and even talk of portals to other dimensions have caused a wave of speculation and intrigue in the scientific community and beyond. While some dismiss such claims as being overly sensational, others are convinced that there is something truly unusual going on at the famous research facility. So, what is really happening at CERN? Is it all just a product of overactive imaginations? Or is there something genuinely odd going on? In this video, we'll delve into the various theories and supposed evidence surrounding the mysterious happenings at CERN in an attempt to separate fact from fiction. In April, scientists at CERN restarted their particle accelerator, the world's largest and most powerful accelerator, after a three-year hiatus. The accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, has undergone repairs and upgrades, and scientists plan to use it to crash protons together and learn more about the origins of the universe. This incredible machine uses a 27-kilometer ring tunnel to accelerate particles to nearly the speed of light. Once these particles are at this speed, they collide with each other, producing energy levels that have never been seen before. The resulting particles and energy are then detected and analyzed by the four major experiments located around the LHC. The data collected here has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. At the heart of the LHC lies a remarkable feat of engineering, the ultra-high vacuum beam pipes. Two high-energy particle beams, traveling in opposite directions, traverse these beam pipes at close to the speed of light. The beams are guided by superconducting electromagnets, which operate at chilling temperatures colder than outer space. These magnets, cooled by liquid helium, create a strong magnetic field that keeps the particles on their precise trajectories. Inside the LHC, particles perform an intricate dance. Proton beams, the primary focus of the LHC, circulate the accelerator ring. Thousands of magnets, including dipole and quadrupole magnets, bend and focus the beams, ensuring they stay on track. Just before the particles collide, another type of magnet squeezes them closer together, increasing the chances of interactions. The collisions within the LHC are no ordinary events. They occur at unimaginable energies, enabling scientists to peer into the fabric of the universe itself. The LHC's detectors, positioned at four specific locations around the accelerator ring, capture the intricacies of these collisions. The detectors, namely ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, provide crucial insights into the properties and behavior of subatomic particles. One of the LHC's most significant accomplishments was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. Physicist Francois Englert and Peter Higgs first theorized the existence of this elusive particle in the 1960s. The Higgs boson plays a pivotal role in our understanding of mass and the fundamental forces that shape the universe. The Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, is a fundamental particle that endows other particles with mass. It has since been a subject of intense study and investigation. Scientists have been meticulously examining its decay patterns to gain a deeper understanding of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Recent experiments conducted by the ATLAS and CMS collaborations at CERN have shed new light on the behavior of the Higgs boson, introducing the possibility of particles beyond the standard model. The decay of the Higgs boson is a fascinating phenomenon 
that offers insights into the inner workings of the universe. Conventionally, the Higgs boson can decay into various combinations of particles, such as electrons, positrons, and muons. However, the recent findings at CERN indicate a rare form of decay involving the interaction of the Higgs boson with a Z boson and a photon. This unconventional decay pathway suggests the existence of additional particles that interact with the Higgs boson through intricate loops of virtual particles. The standard model of particle physics, which describes the interactions of elementary particles, required the existence of the Higgs boson to explain how particles acquire mass. The discovery of the Higgs boson at the LHC confirmed this theoretical framework and earned Englert and Higgs the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. While the discovery of the Higgs boson was a monumental achievement, the mysteries of the universe are far from unraveled. The LHC continues to push the boundaries of our knowledge, with one of its primary objectives being the study of dark matter. Dark matter, an elusive substance that does not interact with light, poses one of the greatest enigmas in modern physics. Scientists at CERN hope that the LHC's upgraded systems, including enhanced data readout and selection systems, new detector systems, and advanced computing infrastructure, will shed light on the nature of dark matter. By carefully analyzing collisions within the LHC, physicists aim to uncover clues about the existence and properties of dark matter particles. In July 2022, the LHC made headlines once again with the discovery of three previous unseen exotic particles. These findings, announced by physicists at CERN, opened new avenues for exploration and further deepened our understanding of the subatomic realm. The LHC's powerful capabilities and unparalleled precision allowed scientists to observe these exotic particles for the first time. The continuous operation of the LHC for almost four years, collecting vast amounts of data, provides scientists with a wealth of information to analyze and interpret. These discoveries pave the way for future breakthroughs and offer glimpses into the hidden corners of particle physics. As we look to the future, the LHC continues to evolve and push the boundaries of scientific exploration. Upcoming upgrades and improvements to the accelerator complex will enable higher beam intensities and even more precise measurements. These advancements will unlock new possibilities, allowing scientists to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Additionally, plans are underway for future colliders, such as the High Luminosity LHC and the proposed Future Circular Collider, FCC, which could reach even higher energies and open new frontiers in particle physics. These ambitious projects demonstrate our unwavering commitment to unraveling the secrets of the universe and understanding the fundamental laws that govern our existence. So why does Tucker Carlson believe that CERN is opening a gateway to hell? Tucker Carlson, the popular television host and news broadcaster, recently made a controversial claim that CERN, the world-renowned European research organization responsible for running the Large Hadron Collider, is opening a gateway to hell. He believes experiments at CERN, especially with the LHR, are part of a secret plan to connect our world with an underworld. Some people who agree with him believe that the energies created by this collider could tear open a hole between dimensions, letting evil creatures come into our world. The statement has sparked widespread debate and criticism, with some arguing that Carlson's claims are unfounded and lack scientific evidence. However, many of Carlson's supporters believe that his assertion is based on a legitimate concern about the potential dangers of scientific experimentation. There is no evidence scientists at CERN are engaging in anything other than scientific-related activities. Scientists use the Large Hadron Collider to collide particles at very high energies to study matter. They claim that the energy levels produced at CERN are too low to create dangerous things like the black hole and the Collider simply cannot open up portals to other dimensions. The controversy surrounding CERN's research is not new. Since its inception, the research organization has been at the forefront of groundbreaking discoveries in particle physics. However, with each new breakthrough comes the challenge of addressing the potential risks and ethical implications of the research. This is where the debate around CERN's work and Carlson's statements intersect. The recent revelations at CERN have ignited a scientific revolution, challenging the boundaries of our existing knowledge. Through the exploration of virtual particles in undiscovered realms, 
scientists are unraveling the secrets of the universe, offering glimpses into a world of new physics. As the journey continues, the scientific community remains committed to unraveling the mysteries that lie within the fundamental fabric of our universe. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.